na 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 na. Can you hear my neighbors playing the music? Na na. Chang. Zim zim ma. Who's gonna hear that? Big out there and shook my white neighbors. So Adele. Honey, honey. It's actually been so long since I've done a talking video, but it's about hair, so. <laughs> What's good guys, it's Ida and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe because my aim on this channel is to teach you how to become hairdresser free, how to do your own hair in the comfort of your own home. So make sure you turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post. So Adele, honey, honey. If you can't already tell from my accent, I was born and raised in London, England. A lot of the viewers on my channel are actually from the States and that is 49.4% to be exact. When I did my first ever how to cornrow tutorial, I called them cane rows and people in the comment sections were confused as to why. Because of this, whenever I did a how to cornrow tutorial after that, I always mentioned the fact that I may call them cane rows in the video, but I didn't really fully understand why that was. I just knew that I grew up calling them cane rows. I later realized that was because of the major, major influence that Jamaicans had on the culture in London. And that even includes the way that we speak. Loads of the words such as cane row, yard, crepe, tune, butters, my man, shook. So many of these words came from the Jamaican diaspora. In a YouTube video by Khalil Mohammed, he claims that 80% of the UK slang was actually from Jamaica. Though the terms may be English in its origin, the way that we use it is the same way that it was used in Jamaica. Ask any African living in the UK over the age of 25 if they or anyone they knew ever wanted to be Jamaican growing up. I'm sure you'll find a few of them. I grew up listening to music from the Caribbean. It wasn't until maybe 17 and onwards I started to be introduced to music from different African countries. You really have to understand how deep rooted Jamaican culture is over here in the London especially and probably throughout the UK. I was born and raised in Tottenham, which is a part of Haringey, which is a part of North London, a place that is currently only 22.3% white British, meaning that 77.7% .7 of people living in Tottenham most likely do not class themselves as from this land. Many schools in Haringey are majority black. I went to an all girl secondary slash high school and I could tell you that I could probably count how many white British girls there were in my year group on my hands. Probably even less than 10. The students were mainly from African, Caribbean and Asian descent. I had white friends who knew how to cane row their own hair and how to cane row black girls hair. Like I mentioned in my black fishing video, it is because they grew up amongst us all, amongst the culture. It wasn't like they were trying to copy or emulate or appropriate, but they were just doing what we were all doing. Adele also grew up in the culture. She was born in Tottenham, like me, then moved outside of London for a few years, came back to London, and this time she lived in the South Side. Brixton, to be exact. Also known as London's Little Jamaica, Brixton has the largest population of Jamaicans within London. When the passengers of the cruise ship Empire Windrush docked in 1948, many of them ended up living in Brixton. Adele then moved from Brixton to nearby West Norwood. Both Brixton and West Norwood are part of this place called Lambeth, which is a segment of South London that currently has a population of 44% black and ethnic minorities. That means that almost half of the people that live in Lambeth are not white. And even more than that, probably don't class themselves as English. Adele grew up in council estates, which for my American viewers is very similar to the projects. She attended a really well-known performing arts school called the Brit School in Croydon, which is part of South London. Croydon has a 50.7% population of black and ethnic minorities. Are you seeing where I'm going with this? Now, fast forward to 2020. This year, 
has been a madness and it's actually the first time that the annual Notting Hill Carnival has been cancelled since it first took place on the streets of Notting Hill in 1966. The original idea for the carnival which was actually called the Caribbean Carnival in 1959 was a result of the race riots that happened a year before. The first Caribbean Carnival was held indoors in St Pancras Town Hall. The carnival quickly became a place where people from all cultures came to enjoy the music, the food, the vibes and the beautiful costumes. Every year people would book time off work just so that they can go down to Notting Hill Carnival which is held over the bank holiday or public holiday weekend in August on Sunday and Monday. Today would have been the second day of carnival. The Mondays are known to be the adult days, the days where everything goes mad. Adele posted a photo of her in her Jamaican flag bikini top, carnival style feathers and bantu knots. And people, mainly African Americans, were vexed. I get it. You see a white girl with a black hairstyle and you're immediately annoyed. You're used to our culture being appropriated over and over and over again. But this time round, you kind of have to understand the culture. You have to understand where Adele grew up. You have to understand the occasion that it is. You have to understand that many of us grew up calling Bantu knots Chinese bumps because we were so influenced by Jamaican culture. She didn't do modern day blackface, nor was she blackfishing. She doesn't rock Bantu knots on a day to day basis. I understand that you may still have an issue and that is fine, but this is the backstory. This is why many of us in London don't have an issue. This is why many Jamaicans don't have an issue. Unfortunately, cultural appropriation isn't that straightforward. Unfortunately, there are going to be exceptions. Unfortunately, issues surrounding race change depending on location and time. I say all of this to say that we as a people are emotionally drained. 2020 has made us mourn from start to just over midway through. This year has drained us. Adele wearing shiny bumps and a Jamaican flag during carnival weekend isn't something that I believe you should pour your energy into. Protect your spirit, play some soca and dance. <laughs> it's carnival weekend. Peace, love and life.